الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد the reward for the believing men and the believing women is immense from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially if they adhere to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid those things which are prohibited by him subhanahu and all of us have our shortcomings but striving this is the essence of Islam, that we strive to do better. We strive to be better. We strive to do those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. We believe in him with iman, truthful iman, iman based on kitab or sunnah and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah, the correct creed. And we implement that creed in our lives by doing righteous deeds, by being obedient to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being of those people who spend in their wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by being of those people who are patient and those people who have humility in their worship and humility before their Lord, and those people who are truthful and those people who fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and preserve and protect your honor by protecting your private parts, by avoiding zina, uh, adultery, fornication, masturbation, and all of those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. And those people who remember Allah often, they make dhikr and they do those things and they sit in the gatherings of the righteous and they seek knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to better themselves and their family and their community. Those people are the ones who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised Jannah, Jannah to Firdaus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabi al kareem, inna al muslimin wa muslimati wal mu'minin wal mu'minat. والقانتين والقانتات والصاد والصادقين والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافلين فروجهم والحافلات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات عد الله عد الله لهم مغفرة وأجر العظيم. الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم. He said, verily the believing men and the believing women, or the 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 Muslim men and the Muslim women, the believing men and the believing women, the obedient men and the obedient women, and the truthful men and the truthful women, the patient men and the patient women, the humble men and the humble women, those, uh, the, hum the charity, the people who give charity from amongst the men and the women, and the male, males that fast and the females that fast, and those who protect their private parts from the male and the women, the men and the women, and those who remember Allah often from amongst the men and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often from amongst the women, Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and an immense reward. Ayyul Ahbab, you can't count the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just from striving to be amongst those categories of the believers. And in the tafsir of Imam Baghawi, he said regarding this ayat, he said, See this in this ayat, Imam Bagawi said. وَقَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى After mentioning the, uh, the ayah that we just read, he said, قَوْلُهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِنَّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَمُسْلِمَاتِ الْآيَةِ وَذَلِكَ أَنَا أَزْوَاجَ نَبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم قلنا يا رسول الله إن الله ذكر رجال في القرآن وَلَمْ يَذْكُرَ النِّسَاءَ بِخَيْرٍ فَمَا فِينَا خَيْرٌ نُذْكِرُ بِهِ 
إن نخاف أن لا يقبل الله منا طاعة فأنزل الله هذه الآية إمام بغوي said رحمه الله تعالى regarding this verse the statement of Allah the Almighty that the refers to the believing men and the believing women until the rest of the verse he said that this was revealed related to some of the women of the Prophet ﷺ, some of the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, they said to him, O Messenger of Allah, verily Allah has mentioned the men in the Qur'an, and he hasn't mentioned the women with, with this great khair, this great, uh, this goodness. So what, what is, uh, what will we gain from, from goodness that we can, uh, that we'll be reminded with and, and we can reflect upon. Verily, we are fearful that Allah will not accept our obedience to Him. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this verse. Allah revealed this uh, verse. وقال al muqatil. So one of the tabi'een or it's by tabi'een, he said, قالت Umm Salama bint Abi Umayya wa Anisa bint Ka'ab al-Ansari radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma li nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma bala rabbina yadhkuru rijala wa la yadhkuru nisa fi shay'in min kitabihi nakhsha an la yakunu fi hinna khayran fa nazalat hadhihi al-aya Muqatil said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that Umm Salama bint Abi Umayya wa Anisa bint Ka'b al-Ansari radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma that they said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, what, is, uh, what will we have from our Lord that he, he mentioned the men, but he didn't mention the women in his book. We are fearful that we will not have anything of good. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this verse. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who are fit into those categories of the believers. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and all that we strive to do. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas wal ilm al nafia wa rizqan tayyibah وعمل المتقبل <clears throat> وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم <تصفيق>